Hi everyone, this is Chotsna here. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you all had a wonderful start to the new year. Today we will be making some eggshell white paint and use it to transform our existing color palette. So in this project you require just some washed and dried eggshells. For the paint making process, you will require a glass muller, palette knife, a measuring spoon, pestle and mortar, and a surface where the mulling process is carried out. So I'm here, I'm using an old um, kitchen glass cutting board. And this board is designated specifically for a uh, paint making uh, process. I also have a video um, where I have um, gone in detail with the paint making process. I will put a link to that video in the description box below so you can check it out and get more information about paint making process. So let's get started. So the first step in this is that you need to um, crush the eggshells as small as possible. So I generally do with hand or you can just um, transfer it into the pestle and mortar. I'm just going to put it on the tray and you just start crushing it. Now so what I'm gonna do is just to speed up the process here, I'm gonna transfer this because we need a really small amount of it to make the paint. So I'm just gonna remove a bit of this here and you can see on the bottom I already have a very uh, fine pigment of the eggshell. So I'm going to grind this further and within no time this will be a really fine powder. You can even see here at this moment if you like to, but I generally don't do it. I just um, grind it till I have got a, a very fine powder. So it's almost done. But when we make the, the when we mull this, um, this grittiness will just um, go away, and it's really nice and powdery. So this is the consistency you need for making paint. So let's um, start making paint now. So I'm just going to take a little scoop of it, um, just about I don't know by measurement how much is it, but. It's just a very tiny amount. So I'm just going to make a small well here. You can hear the grittiness, so it's not really finely, uh, finely powdered, but it doesn't matter. It's okay. And I already have a pre-mixed um, binder, which I made a while ago, actually. It's still, it's still good. There is no mold growth or whatsoever. And I'm going to take a really small amount of it, but it has taken over the time, but that's okay. This is the, the gum arabic really gone into solution. So I just put a few drops of it and I'm going to just mix it. So I'm now going to start mulling. I'm going to do that in the circular motion. So now let's just swatch the actual white on the watercolor paper. So I'm just taking a tiny bit of it, a tiny amount of it, and it's a very muted hue, off-white in color. You can barely see it, so I'm just going to raise this a bit closer, and you can probably see a um, very faint um, off-white swatch of this um, actual white. Now you must be wondering what good it is uh, by itself. Well, by itself you can hardly use or <laughs> see anything in it, uh, see anything of the actual white. But 
uh, what I have done is that I'll just show you first. Um, so I'm going to take my regular watercolor palette. I'm just going to show you first these a swatch of one of the earth pigments. So just below where the egg white is. And this is a very intense um, color, red ochre. So now I'm going to just, I'm going to take a dab of this red ochre, put it on this, and a tiny dab of the eggshell white, mix it, and let's swatch this. Isn't it gorgeous? It's a very muted hue now compared to what it was here. And it looks just absolutely amazing. Let's just try another one. I'm gonna take um, orange ochre now. Um, so this is the swatch without the, the egg white. And I'm gonna take a bit of the, let's just mix it with the, a little bit of color on the slab itself. So, and here is a muted hue of the orange ochre. So, so, um, so play around with the actual white. You can do a lot of things with it. Just let your creativity guide you. So here is a, a beautiful palette I created just um, what two days ago, three days ago, uh, with the Farage pigments from Austria, and. Um, I think the color looks beautiful, don't you think? I hope you've enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you like this video, please make sure to click on that like button. I would love for you to share, subscribe or let me know in the comments below. Until then, take care and have fun creating art sustainably. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.